Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. Today is part two of our training series with Jerry Moffat's Mastermind book. And we've got Alex Magos involved to talk about goal-specific training. Hello and welcome back to part two of our mental training series with Epic TV and Cafe Craft. Today, we're gonna be looking at how you can train for a specific project you have in mind. It's not just about the physical. You need to be using visualization, which is the link between your training and putting that training onto your project. First of all, you need to be really critical and analyze why you think you're not doing your project. Is it endurance or power? Today, we're gonna to be working with pro climber, Alex Migos. I find a project, I can't do the moves or I can't link sections and um, obviously try afterwards I try to build my training around that project so I'll try to replicate the project it somehow to get up it. The first time I ever did that was with Lucid Dreaming, that was like two and a half years ago because I realized um, I couldn't do the, the boulder problem. Went back home, a friend of mine made me a wooden hold which um, I built a replica with at the Cafe Craft Gym at the 45 degree wall and um, just tried, trained on the replica for about 10 days. I think what helped me with that was that I got confidence out of it. So in the two weeks before I felt really confident just because I was training on, on the replica and it felt like I'm doing something towards getting myself up that project and that was a good feeling. So when I was actually flying to Bishop, I was flying there with a the mindset that I'm prepared, I'm ready and I'll just go there and do it. I definitely uh, change my training according to my projects. When I've got a route that's got, you know, 20 moves, power endurance, then I'm, I'm not specifically trying to replicate the route, but I'm trying to replicate the style of the route, which means I'm trying to make up a circuit, for example, with 20 hard moves in similar style. So if the route is on pockets, then on pockets, if the route is on crimps, then on crimps, or on pinches, on pinches, and so on. Um, when I'm scared about a move, I try to uh, do the move over and over again. So I try to make sure that I've got it dialed. And um, what m always helps me is, especially when it's a route in uh, a move in a route, uh, I'll do the move as an individual move, which means I can normally do it quite easy. And then I just picture myself doing the move exactly that easy when I come from the ground. The more stressed out you get about it, the harder it gets to actually send. So. I just try to take it as easy as possible and tell yourself, you know, it'll happen at some point, whether it's this go or next go, who cares? And just don't focus too much about actually sending it, but trying to still enjoy the process. And at some point it will happen. When Alex Migos worked on Lucid Dreaming, he built a replica of the holdout of wood, of the pinch on the crux. You don't need to be that specific. What I would advise you to do is try and find and simulate the length of the climb that you're trying to achieve. If the climb is taking you one minute to do and the crux is at 30 seconds, I would try and replicate some climbing for 30 seconds, going into a hard move at, at that 30 second and then carrying on. And what's important to do when you're actually doing your, your training at home is to be always visualizing and imagining yourself on the climb that you're trying to do. Imagery and visualization is a very, very powerful tool to use while you're climbing your replica. You need to be getting the feelings and imagining what it's gonna be like taking your training back onto your project. My advice would be always train your power as well as your endurance. The power has to be quality and I would do that at the start of your training session, finishing off with the endurance. If you increase your power, you will increase your endurance because you're finding the moves easier. Power is harder to get than endurance and you're going to retain it longer. So that's it. That's the end of our two-part mini-series. Hopefully, we can use some training pointers so that you can reach and attain your goals. If you want to learn more about mental training and how to succeed, there's a link below for our Mastermind book. And if you're in the area, 
pop into Cafe Craft. Cheers, Jerry. Cheers, Cafe Craft. And thank you, Alex Magos. If you guys want to buy the book, the link is in the copy below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.